Dragon! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that music. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today we're gonna watch a brand new show called House of the Dragon. It was released just yesterday. We only have one episode available, and I'm a huge fan of that universe, as you can see right there. The Banner of the Starks! Yeah, and I read the books as well. The official ones, at least. I know there's another book that this is actually based on. I have not read that book, unfortunately. I will be reading it soon. But I read that book. So yeah, I'm um, a fan of this. I loved Game of Thrones. Season 1 to 3 were amazing. Season 4 was great as well. Season 5 was eh. Season 6 was then an improvement. Season 7 was eh. And then they just ended the show at Season 7. And I'm like, wow, why would you do that, you know? Like, where you are at that point, it would take at least three, at least minimum three more seasons to finish it off. And you just ended at Season 7. That's an odd choice. I hope they don't do that here yeah so now you know what i think about game of thrones anyways yeah the less said about that show the better so i'm actually very interested in how this show is going to turn out to be i've heard that george r r martin is working a lot closer on this show personally than he was with the other show so let's hope things are okay in this one yeah <laughs> Like, I'm excited, but I'm also nervous, you know what I mean? But then I am hopeful at the same time that they would not make the same mistakes that I made in that show in this one. But who knows, man. Anyways, like I said, I'm very excited to see this show. I think they're going to release the episodes weekly. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I'm just going to watch them like a day or two as they're uh, release and upload the video. So yeah, we'll be doing the entire series, future seasons, all of it. Anything related to that universe, a Song of Ice and Fire universe, I'm doing it because I love that universe, man. It is so good. Oh, by the way, before we get into the episode, if you want to see the full length reaction, the entire thing to this episode is available on my Patreon link in the description to my Patreon. Also, episodes that go on YouTube go on Patreon first, so you get to see them earlier than everybody else. So yeah, check it out. All that available on Patreon. Thank you so much, patrons, for supporting me all this time. And I will be giving out some merch on Patreon as well for your continued support. So thank you so very much, subscribers, YouTube members. Special shout out to patrons. Thank you for liking my video, subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking my videos, sharing them with others, commenting as well. And also um, a request to all the hardcore A Song of Ice and Fire fans. If there are things that I miss on, which there obviously will be because the world is so dense. Please, please, please let me know. Like I said, I have read the books only once more than a year ago and I have not revisited it again, so I'm going to be missing a lot of things. Anyways, yeah, having said that, let's jump into Westeros. Yeah, without any further, I'm out and do. <laughs> Here we go. I am so excited, man. Oh, it's an ad. I'm like, what? Because the ad was for this show. So I'm like, what is going on here? Oh, so if you're watching... Ooh, there's a official audio companion. I will definitely listen to that. All right, brilliant. Oh, yeah, if you're watching along, you know, on Patreon, this is on HBO Max. So move about a minute and one second ahead, or you can just hit skip. The health of the old king, Jaehaerys was failing. I've definitely heard that name. <laughs> With ten adult dragons under its yoke. That is what I'm looking forward to the most! Dragons! Fully grown fucking beasts! Both his sons, leaving All right. Okay. Jaehaerys. Over a thousand lords made the journey to Harrenhal. Fourteen succession claims were heard. And that Targaryen house logo or emblem or whatever is so Princess cool. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, the king's eldest descendant, and her younger cousin, Prince Viserys Targaryen, the king's eldest male descendant. Hmm. Well, it being Westeros, obviously they choose the male. The Prince Viserys Targaryen. Because obviously. Ooh. A woman would not yeah. inherit. The iron. That did not feel good. Yeah, you can tell. Didn't feel so good. 
Jaharis called the Great Council. No hard feelings, yeah, sister. For he knew the cold truth. The only thing that could tear down the house of the dragon was itself. Hmm. <laughs> when they said the cold truth, I'm like, White Walkers. Wait a minute. <laughs> Insert meme minute. here. That intro was awfully like an awful lot like the Witcher intros. You know when they have the medallions of the houses. 173 years before Danny. Oh, how much I have missed this world. Dragon. <laughs> Let's go. Fuck yeah, they open with a dragon. Well, not open, but you know what I mean. I love me some dragons. Come on, then. Oh, the music. I'm in. There it is. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. So far, I am loving this. <laughs> Is that a golden dragon? I think so. Man, imagine. Silence. Oh, speaking of Witcher, that's that dude from The Witcher. Imagine having this job. Oh my god. Oh my god, I thought that was uh, Danny. <laughs> Try not to look too relieved, sir. I am relieved. Every time that golden beast brings you back, I'm golden beast. Okay, cool. That's almost large enough to settle too. I believe I'm quite content to. <laughs> <laughs> almost large enough. Look at that thing. I could saddle fifteen. We've got the saddles on it too. All right, I like that. I like that they have the saddles on it. Cause that did that did kind of bother me, you know, in Game of Thrones. You're just sitting on the thing. Like, what are you holding the dragon, like, from? Like, it's nothing. You're gonna fall off. I don't care who you are. It doesn't even have like a fur or anything. Which, by the way, is gonna hurt like a mofa. You know, if you are holding on to it by the fur. It's like holding on to someone's hair while they're flying through the air. <laughs> hey, I like that. That is very cool. Is that that room we get to see in the final season, which definitely did not take place, by the way, because the show ended at season seven. <laughs> you know, and Cersei is being the ting. No, I don't like you to go flying while I'm in this condition. You don't like me to go flying while you're in any condition. <laughs> Good morrow, Alison. Did you sleep? I slept. How long? I don't need mothering. <laughs> Here you are, surrounded by attendants, all focused on the babe. Someone has to attend you. Yeah, it's important. I'd rather serve as a knight and ride to battle in glory. <laughs> we have royal wounds, you and I. The child bed is our battlefield. Child bed is our battlefield. Now, I don't remember much from the books. Now take but I have heard that before. You stink of dragon. <laughs> I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong. I believe Randall Tarley said that to Rianne. I don't remember which book though. I read all of them within like one and a half month. Actually, it might have been one month. Yeah, not a good idea, because it's everything is everywhere. King's Cup Baron must not be late. Leaves people wanting for cups. What's visiting mother? On Dragon Bank? Yep. The cost of the tournament is not negligible. Perhaps we might... <laughs> we have no way of predicting the sex of the child. Of course, no maist is capable of rendering an opinion free of conditions. Are they now? <laughs> Boy in the Queen's belly. I know it. And my heir will soon put all of this damnable hand wringing to rest himself. I see, okay. Does my father know his head? No. Good. God be good. It's all right, sir. Oh, I like this. Oh, okay, this is good. Sparrow, Drivo, Segauma, Kepus. Nuoso, Demon. Casey, Nuoso. 
<laughs> yeah, no, this is more like it. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, also what he's doing is definitely not cool. Yeah. <laughs> she did not like the 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 conversation before this, did she? Because again, they're just ignoring her entirely. My dark sister. Valerian steel. And I love the the way they do their hair. Danny, the way she did her hair as well. Now, you and I both own a small piece of our ancestry. Okay, okay. When Princess Nymeria arrived in Dawn, who did she take to husband? A man. What was his name? Lord something. <laughs> You're worried your father is about to overshadow you with a son. Hmm, yeah. I want to fly with you on Dragonback, see the great wonders across the narrow sea and eat only cake. <laughs> eat only cake now that yeah me too although i would like to ride a dragon as well but that's not a possibility unfortunately the hour has grown late princess nymeria led her ruin arc across the narrow sea on ten thousand ships to flee their valyrian man those trees are so creepy like they're so majestic but creepy with the bloody faces in there what are you doing do you remember Sees this book, then the scepter. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I like this duo. Reminds me a bit of um, the sister, the Stark sisters, you know. Sansa and Arya. It's a small cut from sitting the throne. Whoa. It's as warm as the mist as well allow. Don't they know dragons prefer heat? <laughs> After this miserable pregnancy, I wouldn't be surprised if I hatched an actual dragon. Well, now that will be a sight. Worth seeing. This family already has its Visenya. Has there been any word from your dear brother? Not since I named him commander of the City Watch. Oh, okay. Could never stay away from the lists. The tyranny to celebrate the firstborn son that we presently do not have. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Nothing will cause the babe to grow a cock if it does not already possess one. This child is a boy, am I? I'm certain of it. I've never been more certain of anything. Okay, now it makes more sense. Was what? She was saying earlier that I worry for my mother. This guy is determined that this is going to be a boy. How, do, how does he know? Like she said, it's not going to grow one out of nowhere. And I placed our son upon the Iron Throne as the bells of the Grand Septon. And all the dragons roared as one. Visions? Or just another dream? Targaryens do get vision. Well, not just Targaryen. I've lost one babe in the cradle. Had two stillbirths and two pregnancies ended well before their term. That's five. In twice as many years. Ten years. Now, you're a pack of hounds, sated and honed for the hunt. Oh! Mm. Beginning tonight, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. The gold cloaks. Whoa. Wait, what? Yo, you know what I was just gonna say? Literally before the that scene. I'm like, I love these first seasons and episodes of Game of Thrones. You know, shows like this, Game of Thrones and this one. It's chill, it's calm and peaceful. Oh, well, don't show it to us, what the f- Okay, then. So these are not just random. I thought they were just picking random people. It looked like I was just picking up random people, but it might not be. It might have been, these might have been criminals. I mean, still. <laughs> but. Haul away the resulting dismemberments when it was done. The prince cannot be allowed to act with this kind of unchecked impunity. Brother. <laughs> Everyone stands except Damon. The City Watch is not a sword to be wielded at your whim. Watch was enforcing the Crown's norms. Wouldn't you agree, Lord Strong? <laughs> <laughs> I miss the sass as well in this world. Our city should be safe for all its people. I agree. I just hope you don't have to maim half of my city to achieve it. Well. Time will tell. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> is that a challenge, big bro? <laughs> The criminal element should fear the city watch. Thank you for your support, Lord Corliss. 
If only the prince would show the same devotion to his lady wife as he does his work, your grace. Ooh. Not been seen in the Vale or at Runestone for quite some time. Ah, the Vale. Bitch is happier for my absence. Lady Rhea is your wife. A good and honourable... Come on now. In the Vale, men are said to fuck sheep instead of women. Well... I assure you, the sheep are prettier. <laughs> A lovely. Your own lady wife passed recently. Did she not? Otto. Perhaps you aren't ready to move on just yet. Perhaps. <clears throat> oh, I miss this world. Let's go. Enforce my laws, but understand any further performances like last night's will be answered. <sighs> King's Landing has been in decline since my grandmother passed. It's no city watch. I forget who is his grandmother? Oh. I'm like, those noises, um, okay. Mm, unable to do it. All right, then. You are Daemon Targaryen, rider of Caraxes, wielder of Dark Sister. The king cannot replace you. Dark Sister. That's Valyrian steel, I think. I see a group without equal in our histories, and this great day has been made more auspicious by the news. <laughs> Queen Emma has begun her labors. Her health and the child. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, those are the flags. Those are the, what are they called? Sigils, I believe. Oh, 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 this is such a brutal game. Jousting. Oh, the arrow, dude. I know this one. God damn it, I forgot. I know this one. Okay, that's Baratheon. That's Stark. I would humbly ask for the favor of the queen who never was. The queen who never was. Oh, that's the... <laughs> that's the sister. I would gladly take it if I thought I needed it. <laughs> you could have the Raffian's tongue for that. No. Well, will not change the successor. Let them wear. Like how there are dragons on the, well, on the drums as well, but on the ch chair couch thing that he's sitting on. Let's be married as soon as he wins his knighthood. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Lady Eleanor is hiding a swollen belly beneath her dress. <laughs> Ooh, first person view. Well. The Baratheon is down. <laughs> she enjoyed that one. What do you know about the Sir Criston Cole, Sam? I'm told Sir Criston is common born son of Lord Dondarrion Stuart. Dondarrion. Ah, let's go. Who's it gonna be? Man, I feel like um, Bran and Arya, the start of Game of Thrones, trying to remember all these houses and sigil. Whoa. Scared me. <laughs> Everything scares me. Don't believe me, watch my horror movies. <laughs> that starts. Oh no. Dang, look at the skull. Oh, the skull or the helmet or whatever. <laughs> With the dragon and the wings and then. Cool. That armor is good. <laughs> The hand of the king. Oh, I see. This guy is a <laughs> five dragons on the day. <laughs> uh, lovely. I want the armor for all of them, represents their house. Whoa! Yeah, boy! Not to be taken so lightly, eh? Whoa! Is that allowed? Huh. Please tell me that's just mud, he's fine. Is he done, Uncle? Thank you, princess. Now, I'm fairly certain I can win these games, Lady Allison. Having your favor would all but assure it.
<laughs> Do something for her. We've given her as much milk of the poppy as we can without risking the child. Your queen is a strong woman, but it may not be enough. Oh, this was going to die too. Oh, I... Emma, I'm here. I'm here. These walls, though, like, what the hell? Oh, that's quite a side by side. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if this is how we should celebrate the birth of our future king. Alan <laughs> balls full of seed. We expect them to act. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly my thoughts. Oh my god, her fingers are bleeding. But this is quite a side by side. If you would. The child is dead. During a difficult birth, it sometimes becomes necessary for the father to make an impossible choice. Oh. You can save the child. You must either act now or leave it with the gods. <sighs> Half of his face is missing. Of the city. She has no idea, does she? She's enjoying herself out here. Whoa. Oh, that cut. Literally. They're going to bring the babe out now. I'm going to cut the babe out, is what you mean. No, I'm scared of nothing. Don't be scared. What's Don't be scared. They're going to break the babe out. Oh, no. It's all right. Please. They're going to break the babe out. They're going to bring the babe out. No, no, no. Don't be scared. <laughs> They're showing it as well. Oh, they got him. He got him. This poor guy, he's just trying to help, bro. Chill. This guy just can't lose, can he? He has to win. Whoa, broke his shield as well. This guy, this guy is good. Like so far from all we've seen, Damon is a bloody beast. Oh my god! <sighs> no sedatives, nothing like. Oh my god! Well, actually, I don't know if that would be a good idea. Like for the child. I, I don't know enough about this. <laughs> I was gonna say, he's not out, out yet. Why are you celebrating? He's just down. Yield. This guy with the big belly. <laughs> oh, speaking of big bellies. Oh. It truly is their battlefield. She, she's gone, she's... Oh, come on. I was hoping to ask for the princess's favor. <laughs> Uh-oh. Congratulations, your grace. You have a son. He knew. He knew it was going to be a boy. Man... <laughs> Aelon. Greyjoy. Man, I'm so glad for the advancement in the med medical field. Modern medicine can prevent this. Yeah, girl. <sighs> so 
so much for having a chill, calm, peaceful first episode. I'm glad I didn't say it. <laughs> I was thinking it though. Whoa, that's a child. But that's a really big child though. A newborn is like really tiny. Wait, that's both dead? <laughs> The child died as well. Dracaris! Dracaris. Putting Damon in command of the City Watch was your solution. A half measure, Your Grace. The truth is, Damon should be. F no more half measures. My brother. My blood. Mike Ehrman Trout. Bring him to the council. <laughs> ...for the king to name a successor. Well, who else would have a claim? The sister? Is that why they showed him? Oh, the queen who never was. Rhaenys was the only child of Jaehaerys' eldest son. She had a strong claim at the great council. And she already has a male Just heir. Just moments ago, you and... <laughs> okay, so that's why I was. <laughs> there you are. I will not sit here and suffer crows that come to feast on their corpses. I was thinking like, like I, I kind of get it because the king is sick too. He's got something in his back, but like, right. Does it really have to be right now? <sighs> Queen just died along with the child. Not just that, but they were just buried. You know what I mean, I thought you might go to him, offer him comfort in his chambers. I wouldn't know what to say. Stop that. You'll be glad of a visitor. Wait, what? You might wear one of your mother's dresses. Okay. Father of the year. Yay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's the ring his wife was wearing. Hi, Tower, Your Grace. Well, she's nervous. Oh, why wouldn't you be? I thought I might come and look in on you, Grace. I brought a book. <laughs> She's nervous. Oh, I feel bad for her. When my mother died, people only ever spoke to me in riddles. All I wanted was for someone to say that they were sorry for what happened to me. I'm very sorry, Your Grace. <laughs> and then there's this guy. A future king. I have a report I feel compelled to share. Last night... King and council have long rued my position as next in line to the throne. Dream and pray as they all might, it seems I'm not so easily replaced. <laughs> I corroborated this report with three separate witnesses. The evening was, by all accounts, a celebration. I love this throne. You chose to celebrate your own rise! Laughing with your whores and your legs! You have no allies at court but me! I That's true. Defended you. Also true. If I see Otto Hightower for what? An unwavering and loyal hand. A cunt. <laughs> hand. Or. <laughs> Hightower is a more honorable man than you could ever be. He doesn't protect you. I would. From what? Yourself. <sighs> Ooh, that's what they said at the start as well. And that council of leeches knows it. They all prey on you for their own ends. That sword, though. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. And you are to do so without quarrel, by order of your king. Renair. You could probably cut through all these guys, yeah? Or is he not that good? Because he was taken down by the other dude, so... Love the architecture. All right, fire does not burn a dragon. It is so Targaryen-like, you know, all the buildings, the chairs, the everything, really. Everyone says Targaryens are closer to gods than to men, but they say that because of our dragons. Without them, we're just like everyone else. Alaria? When they brought Valeria, it's doom. It do the same to us. Targaryen must understand this to be king. Or queen. Or queen. Hey! Hey, let's go. Yeah, looking at you, girl. You are the very best of your mother. <laughs> that you could be a great ruling queen. Damon is your heir. Damon. Not anymore. He's gonna go to his wife with her. I'm not sure she's gonna live too far long. <laughs> Here's Westeros. You never know. A 
Thean. It is to begin with a terrible winter, gusting out of the distant north. I Rickon Stark. Hey, Rickon Stark, Lord of Winterfell. A king or queen, strong enough to unite the realm against the cold and the dark. Aegon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Now you must promise to carry it and protect it. Promise me this, Renera. No pressure. It's a child. That's one thing they've done really well in this one is that she looks like a child. Danny did not look like a child, which is great, by the way, because some of the stuff that happens in that show. Yeah. Of his name. Because in the books, these people are way younger than you see them in Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, that music! Rakaris. A dragon of his is so cool, Damons. Oh, I love this music. Man, I just love this music so... Whoa, there's a lot still to go. Oh, there's like a preview or whatever. No, no, I'm not watching that. All right, so <laughs> that was pretty good. Before I get into breaking it down, though, like I said at the start, if you want to see the full-length reaction to this episode and pretty much every other show, movie, all the stuff that I've done, it's available on my Patreon, full-length, uninterrupted watch-along. Yeah, link in the description to my Patreon. Also, these videos go up earlier on Patreon. So if you want to see the first, the next episode earlier, it's there on Patreon. Check it out. Thank you so much, patrons, for supporting me all this time. YouTube members, subscribers, you know, people who like, comment, people who just view the videos. Thank you, all of you, sharing the video. Thank you so very much for um, all your support. And one last thing, link in the description to my merch store as well. Once again, thank you. Now then, this was brilliant. This was a great start to this show, I believe, at least, because, I mean, it was everything Game of Thrones was. It has blood, gore, it has complex storylines, relationships, a lot of politics. It has, well, the characters are so deep they seem one way right when they're introduced they're all one way and then they're not like that at all well they're like that but they're also like another way and then they're like also like another like damon for instance he's this guy who doesn't listen he's rash he's violent he's aggressive he's this and that and the other and he is i mean the introduction we get right quite rebellious then the other thing that he does right killing all those people like okay so they're not wrong <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we keep seeing that. And then at the end, when the mother dies, or the wife, or the mother, you know, Renergis' uh, mother, Viserys' um, wife, and the child. Out of everyone, he's the only one who comes forward to Renergis and sort of talks to her, sort of tries to be, you know, a bit compassionate, a bit caring, a bit loving, um, tries to comfort her somewhat. And, you know, you're like, oh, well, this is not who we saw, right? And then you're like, okay, so we're in this gray region now. Not everything's black and white. And that's what Game of Thrones did as well. And that's what the books did as well. And then that's the deal with pretty much all the characters, right? You have the king himself. Um, he is weak. Why is he weak? From what I could tell, it could be that he is old or wounded sick basically or he's just good i think that might be it that he's just a nice guy he is not aggressive or not as much as his brother at least he's not ruthless he's not he's not mad he's not that he's seems stable enough and it, it seems like that is his weakness you know what i mean which kind of makes sense i mean if you think about it uh, even in game of thrones right ned stark comes to mind he was you could say weak in the same sense as well as that he was too honorable too just too nice um that was his downfall in the end and i believe that is what uh damon there was referring to 
is that he needs to put a leash on these people. He needs to be a bit more like Damon, a bit more aggressive, a bit more ruthless. And I think, honestly, if you want to be a good king, I think you need a good mix of those, you know, nice and just, uh, but also a bit ruthless, a bit stern, you know, not just crazy like Damon, but a bit stern, a bit aggressive. You know, you put your foot down and you command rather than talk. It, it seemed like that at least. Viserys was not quite in control. Speaking of control, by the way, that scene where they're doing the toast, the, the, the main scene at the end where then he says, did you say it, right? Viserys says to Damon, did you say it? That scene when he's doing the toast, there's a dude right there, you know, going at it. And then he starts talking and he's just like, Perfect discipline and control. All right, then <laughs> let's do this or rather not do this. Um, that was hilarious. <laughs> I'm just like, um, all right. <laughs> well, there is the danger. He's going to cut it off. So there's that, you know, <laughs> they did do that earlier to others. Like I mentioned already, the um, characters, particularly the girls, they look younger, um, which is, I think, book accurate. Um, although in the book, they're very young, so I'm glad they're not showing that young because some of the stuff they do, uh, yeah, I don't know if I would want to see that, but, um, I love the overall architecture of the city. Um, since the Targaryens are in power, it was very Targaryen-like. There was dragons everywhere, even in the chairs and the buildings and the walls, everywhere there was Targaryen-like stuff, and that was really cool to see. Um, the dragon pit all the way up there at the top, the dome, you know, the big whatever you want to call it. Pretty cool. Loved Damon's armor. Loved all their armors, man. They were specific to each house and it was so cool. But Damon's one was ridiculously cool. It was so badass. Damon's armor slapped the most for sure. And that guy who uh, won against Damon. You have to be good, right, to do that to Prince Damon. So there are 10 dragons total, or, well, there might be more, but there are 10 adult ones present. We saw a couple of them, the golden one, and then that the, the one with the Damon, that one was cool. I liked how they used the dragons to burn the, you know, the bodies at the funeral. Speaking of that funeral, by the way, what a choice to make the, for the king. Again, these choices in the in this world, in Westeros or in A Song of Ice and Fire or Game of Thrones. I mean, that's what I mean is it's so classic Game of Thrones. This episode was that it's just like ridiculous. And it's just, you're like, okay, I thought, all right, all right, we're, we're back. We're, we're back. They're going to let the babe out. We're back. You know, masterpieces, you know, just... Quotes that will go down in history forever. They're going to let the babe out. Ah, uh, uh, what a scene that was. I mean, I don't even know what to say. What choice would you make first of? It's a choice that I hope no one has to make. And I think we are at a time where we don't have to anymore. I don't think at least. I mean, there might be some cases that are so far out there that even modern medicine will not be able to help with that. But for the most part, I think we're, we're pretty safe. Um, but yeah, that's just brutal, man. And like she said, you know, the child that is our battlefield and literally it was, I mean, died in the battlefield childbed then speaking of the childbed the vision or rather dream but you know it's like a vision with the targaryens pretty much always it was a boy um although that didn't last for too long but it was a boy so he wasn't wrong speaking of the targaryens by the way, one thing that renera said that i was like well are you when she said without the dragons we're just like everybody else i'm like well are you though because we saw this with danny um you know she couldn't be burnt right we saw her the the place lighting on fire and her coming out un, un, unburnt, unhurt, <laughs> you know, just fine. At the opening scenes in the opening seasons of Game of Thrones, we saw her walk into the steaming hot water and she was fine, right? But then we also saw her brother, right? He wasn't like that. So I guess not all are like that, but some of them are a bit different. Love the little reference there towards the end 
when the king is talking to his daughter. I think that was White Walkers. I've written it down when he's talking about the winter and all that. I'm like, okay. I, th I think he's talking about the White Walkers. I'm not entirely sure about that one, but I'm pretty sure it is that. Love that. Love that uh, little detail there. Man, the whole show was just so well done. The music was spectacular. The costumes, the acting was really good. Love the conflicts, the politics. It's just classic Game of Thrones and I'm so glad it's back. And obviously, obviously, how can we not talk about Dracarys, the dragons? So yeah, needless to say, I'm very happy with this first episode. I loved it. I thought it was a great intro to the C series and I'm very much looking forward to the rest of it. And I will be watching it here with you guys. So if you enjoyed this one, do drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like I said, I have done plenty of other things. I've done uh, Lord of the Rings as well, the movies. Speaking of Lord of the Rings, by the way, I heard there's a show coming out soon as well. I'll be watching that as well because I love the Lord of the Rings trilogy so much so that I even saw the Hobbit movies after that, which weren't as great, but they were still pretty good. Uh, I've got Harry Potter, um, Avengers stuff, you know, MCU, some DC stuff, Avatar, The Last Airbender, you know, Breaking Bad, so on and so forth. Check the channel. There's so much on the channel. Check it out. Chances are there will be something you'll find interesting enough. But yeah, thank you so much, Patreon, YouTube members, subscribers, everyone for supporting me all this time. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, have a nice...